Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Prevised here, back with another video. As y'all can see, yesterday I made a new video and it's been a while. So today we have another request. All right, so here's the guy that requested the video. He said, Dude, can you make a video of how to make the infinite loop of a moving car? Please, I need it for like decoration background, you know, please. So he's either talking about this video or this video. But in this video, the code got a little, you know, a little different because we're not using a move to function. We're actually using the set primary part C frame function. So this video was actually an update of the other one. So now I am bringing a third update. All right, guys. So now we are back in Roblox Studio. Uh, anyways, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this car model move okay so we're going to be using um a tween service we're going to be learning tween service now i don't know too much about tween service but i did grab tween service uh yeah right here i did grab some code from here well it was somewhere it's, it's not this page but from somewhere else i had grabbed some code um yeah, just because I don't know too much about Twin Service and it did teach me a little something about it. So, all right, all right, all right. So, let's get on to the video. So, we're going to be making this car model move. So, like I said, we're going to be using Twin Service. So, we're not going to be using, you know, the move to function like the first video or set primary part C frame. We are going to be setting a primary part, but <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. We're not going to be setting a primary part C frame or anything like that. We're using tween service. All right. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to need a weld script just so that way, whenever we make our main part. Okay. So you guys uh, go ahead and do this. So main part right here, we're just going to make a part and put it at the very center of our model and name that main. Make sure the M is capitalized. You don't want to mistake on misspelling that main all right next you're going to need this script right here um, so just right click on car model you know insert object insert a script this code right here will be in the description so go check out that just grab it and paste it into your own script that will be placed inside of your model that will move so make sure you have those two objects placed inside your model that you want to move all right, so next up, what we're gonna do is we're going to right click, insert object, script. Okay, this is going to be our script where we control the car, where it can move. Now your script can actually be placed anywheres. Anywheres. I, I'm actually gonna show you show y'all what I mean by that. Um, so we just really need our local script, which is right here. Okay, so whenever you go inside a starter player, just go inside a starter, a starter player scripts, right click, insert object, and a local script. Okay, um, this code will be in the description as well. This will probably be the second link in the description. So make sure to grab this. But uh, like I'm like I was saying, so your local script is mainly what you need in your starter player scripts right here. You need that right there. And your script, your server script, I'm just putting it inside of my model just because, but for your sake, it doesn't really need to just because if you have, you know, your game code, you know, if you have some game and then you just wanted the car to move, you'd probably want, you'd probably, you'd probably put all that code into one script. So you don't have, you know, a bunch of random scripts all over the place. But, um, basically what I'm trying to say is whenever you call the function because we are going to be using fire all all clients sorry about that my slow typing we're going to be calling this function inside of the starter script so this server script can be anywhere and yeah it could be in your game code whatever um but yeah so i'm gonna just get rid of that so like i was saying about this local script all this code will be the second in the second link down in the description. Make sure to grab that. Um, so this is the tween info, the tween um, script that I was talking about. See, I don't know too much about tween, so I had grabbed this 
and I learn how to actually use it a little bit. All right, guys. So now that we have all that out the way, right click on replicated storage, insert object, remote event. So if you guys didn't know, this is FE compatible. It's going to work with a filtering enabled game, which I do recommend if you plan on making a game. Nowadays, make sure it is filtering enabled. And I think Roblox actually does require that. But uh, if they don't, I would recommend FE your game, man. FE your game. Enable that for sure. So remote event, we're going to name this car. No, we're going to name it move move model. Okay, we're going to name it move model. All right. So now what we can do is go in our local script. Okay, I'm going to go at the very top of the code. Make sure you have this code right here inside your local script. So we're going to get the the model. I mean the remote event inside of replicated storage. So local move move model equals game dot replicated storage dot move model. All right, all right. Now we go inside of our other script, our server script. Okay, we're going to access that again. So we could just go right here, copy line one, and paste it in here. All right. So basically, what we're saying is, so how we're gonna have it is, we're gonna whenever the server starts. So we're gonna be putting all this code. Actually, we're putting all the code inside of our local script. All right, so mainly all of our code is going to be inside of our local script. So in our server script, it's basically just, it's basically this right here, actually. Fire all clients. That's really it. That's really it. But what we want to do is we want to wait five seconds. We're just going to have wait five seconds just so that way whenever the server starts and we're in the game we're going to see it move in 5 seconds um but of course if you were testing in an actual the game server you'd probably want to do like maybe 15 seconds because it's going to take a while before you load in because uh I just re really test in Roblox Studio but yeah this is just an example we're just um like I said your firewall clients whenever you call this would probably be in some different game code or whatever now, I do want to say this. Listen up, listen up, listen up. So, I do I want to make this into a series. That's what I'm thinking about. Making in, make this into a series and have you guys request for, you know, say this car was moving and you wanted some smoke to come out the back or whatever. You know, something cool or whatever, whatever, whatever. So, uh, yeah, y'all request, I'll probably make this into a a little series. Now, if y'all do want to learn filtering enabled, y'all can go check out my Roblox filtering enabled tutorial part one. I've only made one part to this just because I kind of forgot to, you know, continue the series. And at this time, I was kind of just going all over the place with tutorials and stuff. But uh, yeah, y'all go be sure to check that out so you can get, so you guys can kind of get an understanding on filtering enabled. All right, guys. So now we're in the script. So, yep, well, you guys should have all this code already. And, uh, yep, same with this script, this server script right here. So, uh, basically, what it's saying is fire all clients. So, let me explain this. Let me let me explain this. So, we don't want to, we don't want all this code right here and for us to tween, you know, tween all this stuff on the server. We all, we want to do all this in the local script. So basically, that's why we're saying fire all clients. So we're going to take this model, uh, the, I mean, this remote event, fire all the clients. So that way it replicates to each client. You know what I'm saying? Basically means like duplicates. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's about that's about that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our remote event, which is move model up here. See, we're accessing the remote event, which is over here. Move model. OK, so inside of local scripts we don't use on server event we use on client event okay and then we're going to connect this function now we've created a on client event function okay so basically what it's saying is whenever this gets this uh remote events gets called 
like called for fire once it fires all the clients right here it's going to run this code wherever on client event wherever you have a function um inside of your local script okay so it's going to run whatever code is in here all right guys so don't let me forget make sure that this part right here the one that you've named main let me grab it right quick can't quite grab it like that it's right here main make sure that part is unanchored and can collide okay so i'm not exactly sure y'all be sure to you know to test this out but um so this chases model right here everything is uncopy locked i'm sorry everything is uh i'm sorry no everything is anchored everything is anchored um but the script one of the scripts inside of it un unanchors everything because of course it's a a car you know it's it's got to be able to move um but in your case everything might need to be anchored Okay, um, so what I recommend is you getting a weld script so you could still use the same script right here and make sure it's placed inside of your model directly. Um, but yeah, y'all be sure to do that. All right, so now what we need to do is we, how this is going to work is we're using tween service, but we still need to make our main part we need to make that a primary part you could easily do that by just doing this going to your model press primary part and clicking on main but i recommend you guys just to do it in a script so we will do that right here so we do car model which we don't have a variable for that and we will make that right here local car model equals script dot parent Okay, so we're inside the script. Whoops, I'm. S that's wrong. That's wrong. We're in a local script. Okay, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. What we're gonna do is workspace dot car model. So whatever your model name is, just put that right here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is just name this model. And y'all can do that as well. Just name the variable name model, just because I know y'all probably aren't using a car, so I'm not gonna name it car model if y'all aren't using it. All right, so now at the top, we're gonna do repeat wait until, so we're gonna just keep this one line right here repeating. And what we want it to do is we're gonna make it continue to repeat until, oops, I'm sorry. We're just gonna do workspace uh find first child find first child car model okay so whatever the name of your model is put right here and right here all right so next what we're going to do is right here <clears throat> we're going to put model dot primary part so we're going to set our models primary part to main so to get main we do model dot main all right so let's actually do model find first child main okay yeah that looks better that looks better um and actually right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if just in case you know we want to be sure so the code wouldn't error if there is a part called main or something called main then we're going to set the primary part that's just so you know if main was somehow to get removed or whatever uh this code would not error so that's why we make this if statement all right so next what we're going to do is we're going to take our function right here tween model okay we're going to call that all right first um the first argument which um right here we're gonna have two arguments put a little comma right here all right so uh first will be our actual model so we're going to take model put that right here between model and next will be the c frame so we're going to do c frame dot new parentheses okay and then basically what we put right here 
is the position where we want our model to go. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on main right here. Okay. I'm going to do control D to duplicate and then just drag it along over here. Okay. Let's just ignore that part. Yeah. So this is the same part and take that part inside of workspace, put that part inside of workspace and we can just rename that to location or whatever y'all want. Basically all we need is the position for this part because we already we know what we you know that you want the car to go to this position so we could just take the position and remove the block if you wanted doesn't matter but i'm just going to keep the block there just for show and here's the position so yeah that's basically it we will go ahead and test as y'all can see the car moves and that's it that is it. Looks pretty nice. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you all have any requests, you know, like I said, as an example, smoke coming out of the car, whatever. But um, yeah, if you all guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and uh, check out my other videos. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate y'all.